Hello there and welcome to this video which is going to help you work out whether you have a metal or a non-metal just by looking at the periodic table. Now the first key thing when you draw your periodic table or see your periodic table in an exam is to draw this zigzag that I'm drawing here. So it's a cross in between aluminium and boron, a cross down like a stairway. Anything to the right of that is a non-metal, anything to the left is a metal. You also have hydrogen which is on its own which is classed as a non-metal. There is Another way that you can work out whether you have a metal or a non-metal, and that's to do with the electronic configuration. So if you have one, two, three, or four electrons in the outer shell, it's usually a metal, and five, six, seven, eight is usually a non-metal. It's not always the case, but it's the general rule. Okay, let's look at a question on this topic then. Uh, so this one is a three marker, and it says explain whether the element is a metal or a non-metal, and describe where you would find the elements on the periodic table. And this is the element you're looking at. So look at the electronic configuration and think through to me, how would you answer that question? Pause the video, have a go, and we'll see if you're correct in a minute. Okay, well let's see then. So there are quite a few ways you can get the marking points here. The first and most important one is pointing out that it's a metal. So you get one mark for saying it's a metal, and then the explanation, because it only has less than four electrons on the outer shell, gets you your second mark. Then the third mark, which is for describing where you would find it, you could talk about it'll be in group 1 because it has one electron on the outer shell. You could talk about it'll be in period 3 because it has three shells. And you can also, for the final bit, say it will have an atomic number of 11 because it has 11 electrons. And as you know, for an atom, the electrons are always the same as the protons. Hopefully that's helped you with that. If you're feeling confident, go on to the review section, which is explain using the periodic table and electronic configuration how you can work out if an element is a metal or a non-metal. And that ends this video.